Welcome back, everybody. And as you can see, today's layout is for the Scrap the Boys Challenge on Facebook. And it's um, the theme was Stay Wild. So I had this photo that I've been wanting to scrap for a little while. It's of my boy with our cat Kabooby, who's now one of our little angels. This photo to me does not really scream out wild, but it is in nature and my son is patting our lovely ginger cat Kabooby. So that's about as wild as we get here. And so what I decided to do for the challenge was I kept it to nature's colours. The photo to me is actually very sweet. I was lucky to capture a tender moment where my son, who's a very sweet, gentle little boy, was giving the our old cat a nice pat and just letting you know how much he loved him. So back to the layout, I actually found this scrap of paper that went really well with the photo and I wanted to use it as a match, but obviously I didn't have enough. So here I am just making it work and it gave me a nice, nice match and it just brought everything together. So of course once I finished matching my photo, I then go and I get this grey ink that I have from Mementos, I think it's called grey flannel, and I ink all my edges, which is usually what I tend to do. And then I spent a considerable amount of time trying to find the right paper. And this is the moment when this layout all comes together. I found this lovely paper from Kaisercraft. It's from the Attitude Collection, and the actual paper is called What's Up. So as you saw, I did cut it out with my trimmer, and then I went ahead and I inked it with that Grey Fennel Mementos ink. So that piece that I just cut out is what everything is working around. And in my stash, I found this rusty rusty coloured paper and that is from Factory 42 collection from Kaisercraft and it's called Pipeworks. So here I am cutting another piece of paper and that is also from the Factory 42 collection and this paper is called Assembly Line. And I just love the rustic look of this paper and you know two different collections. One's the Attitude collection and one is from Factory 42 but they both worked well together. So of course I'm going to be inking all my sides with that same ink that I used earlier. This gorgeous cut file is from Cut To You and it's called Wild Geometric. So I cut this on some beige coloured cardstock, I think it was basil, and it just looks stunning. It was absolutely gorgeous. I love this cut file and I sort of thought it tied in well with that whole wild theme. So from the paper from the Attitude Collection, there was this gorgeous little circle thing that says, you don't raise heroes, you raise sons. And if you treat them like sons, they'll turn out to be heroes, even if it's just in your own eyes. And that was the same from Walter Shearer, I think it says there. I can't read it. The writing's so small and I'm very blind. And I do a little bit of surgery on this layout. The branding strip I had accidentally cut into, but then I decided I wanted to use it down the bottom there. But I make it work and I just put the circle with that lovely saying just over it so you can't see that I'd actually cut it all up. This piece of chipboard was just left over from one of my previous layouts and I just gessoed it and then I'm just going in with some distressed stain paint and the colour is forest moss. So while my chipboard is drying, I'm going to put this layout all together and as you can see, I'm using double-sided tape. So for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to edit out all of this you don't really need to see me stick down pieces of paper together. I'm sure you all know how to do it. And voila, everything is now stuck down. Well, almost everything. I haven't glued down my die cuts yet, but I will be doing that soon. And I just use my fine liner bottle with some of the wet glue that's in it. And down they go. So I must admit, this layout came together very quickly for me. 45 minutes for me to do a layout is... I believe a record for me. 
I would really love to know how long it takes you guys to do a layout. So if you can let me know in the comments, you know, the average time that you think it, um, it takes you to do a layout, I would really appreciate it because I believe I'm a very slow scrapper. I'm finally working on my title and I did try to use two different styles of letters but in the end I just stayed with the one and the title of this layout is going to be Stay Sweet because to me it's just such a sweet moment between my son and, and Kabubi that I couldn't think of any better title. And then I decided, oh, I have to give this a border because I seem to like to give everything a border at the moment. And I go and I take my trimmer and I just trim, oh, a couple of mils off all four sides and then just use my double-sided tape to stick it onto this lovely sort of greyish black cardstock. And, of course, before I stick my... Uh, layout down to the grey cardstock I had to ink all four edges because that's just a compulsion of mine oh, and then in my stash I found these lovely little arrows and I decided to leave them natural as I thought it went well with the rest of the layout and adding some journaling and I think that's just about it so this is the time when I sign off and I say thank you very much and please if you're watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and leave me a comment. Uh, yes, the little bell so you can get notifications of when I next up I'll upload. Anyway, everyone, here are some still photos. And until next time, stay well, stay healthy, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.